Hi there, this is Noah with ERS Moving Services. This is going to be a brief video walkthrough of our ordering processes. So we're logged into the back end here and our system has both the back end where you do your kind of administrative work as the business owner or manager or employee and each has unique permission levels so your employees can't do things like changing prices or or giving customers discounts unless you've given them that permission. But we've also got the front end or live website which talks to the back end and the two parts of the system work seamlessly together with each other. So let's go ahead and start by placing an order through the front end, i.e. what your customers will see on your live website. Let's go ahead and click into that website and this is a sample website so it looks like this but yours can look however you like. Let's go ahead and click on this little call to action here. And let's go ahead and pick our date. Let's go with a couple days before Christmas here. And then let's go ahead and go with a specialty item move. Now, again, our system is set up for really good, efficient online booking. So if you have, you know, certain kinds of things that you do at a flat rate, like a, like a piano move for $300, then you can do that. But then, of course, you've got other things where it's a little bit more complicated and you're going to need to do a custom quote. So you can book those uh, through the system as well. So let's go ahead and add this piano move to the cart. And it's pretty simple as we can see. This is what we call a cart step. You can even get rid of this cart step. Eventually, of course, your, your customers will have to enter in this information. This allows you to get some marketing data early in the shopping process. So let's go ahead and start with this. And from here, it's pretty simple. And this page can look however you want it to look. You can customize all of these fields, all of these checkboxes. You can add drop-down menus, anything you like here. Now this particular account is set up to require the contract to be signed before the customer can check out. Some people don't like to do that because they prefer to have a checkout process that takes as little time as possible for the customer. It's really up to you. We don't have to require the contract signature before checkout, but that's the way this particular account is set up. So we're going to go ahead and pay with a credit card here, and the system is going to store this customer's credit card information on file for future orders. We won't be able to see it. It's all encrypted for privacy and security, but next time they want to book on the website or give us a call to have us book through the back end, we will have that credit card information available for them for convenience. Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and see how we would place an order through the back end of the system. So, and we can see that customer's order right here. So let's imagine that the customer, the same customer, went ahead and gave us a call and asked for us to come out and do a custom moving quote. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the CRM, Customer Relationships Manager, and I am going to find the most recent customer right here. I'm going to click into their customer profile, and I'm going to click here to book an order with them. And then I'm going to click into moving services uh, and schedule an estimate and add this to the cart. And then we can choose a date. And this is going to be set up. This particular item, the schedule and estimate, is set up with time slots. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's say they asked us to come over at 6 p.m. So you can see that their contact information is already filled out here. So we can go ahead and check out here. And once again, the contact information is already filled out because we've got that on file. And this is because we're in the back end, we've got some more functionality here than our customers do on the front end or the live website. So customer notes here, we can put in internal notes about the order here. We can apply discounts. We could mark the customer as bad if we didn't want to do business with them in the future. And that would prevent them from making an order on the website. So other things that we can do in the back end that the customers can't do on the front end. So let's go ahead and continue here. And if we needed to pay to make a payment, we'd be able to use card on file to submit the order. In this case, we don't actually need to have a payment made. So let's go ahead and just submit and send a receipt. And that's all there is to it. So the last thing that I would like to take a quick look at is the automatically emailed receipt that the customer is going to receive. So we can see right here that the receipt has already been received. And this is a customizable document. It doesn't have to look like this. We can make it look like whatever we want it to. So that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. For more information, please feel free to visit us at ersmoving.com or you can reach out directly to our Director of Client Growth, Heath Messer, at 505-570-4266 for further information. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.